Dubai recently looked like a scene from the 2012 Apocalypse movie. Crazy winds, the airport turning into water world, cars becoming submarines. Now, the internet's freaking out like, OMG, Dubai's flood was caused by cloud seeding. I mean, yeah, they did send up six or seven of those cloud seeding planes just before the chaos. But what the heck is that? To understand it, we first need to talk about clouds. Imagine clouds are like a girls' night with just mocktails. I mean, it is full of potential, but needs a little push to really get things wild. Clouds are just a bunch of tiny water droplets or ice crystals chilling in the sky. Water vapor goes up there, gets cold, finds a friend, like dust or salt, and BAM! It's a condensation party! These droplets or ice crystals gather more moisture and eventually, when they get heavy enough, it rains or snows. So, cloud seeding. It all starts in a control room full of weather geeks who watch the sky until one of them goes BINGO! Meaning, they've spotted a shy little cloud. They celebrate. Then they call a pilot. This guy hops into a plane with flares loaded with salt. Yep, like table salt, but supercharged, thanks to nanotech. It's like three times saltier. This brave soul flies into the storm. Seriously, his view looks like a scene from Twister and dumps the magic salt right on that baby cloud. Why? Because salt attracts water, remember? The clouds get heavy and boom! It rains. They can also make it snow by throwing something called silver iodide into the cloud. Silver iodide is like ice's long-lost cousin. Both are hexagonal, meaning they look like each other. So ice thinks, hey, we're family, come here, and bonds with it. This forms snowflakes that get heavy and, you guessed it, fall as snow. Basically, cloud seeding is like dropping Mentos into Coke. You sprinkle clouds with a little extra something, and then it's a rain party. Now, picture a bride who met her beau on a rainy day and wants a downpour at her wedding. Can she make it rain and basically ruin the mood of all her guests? Well, kinda. First, she needs a load of cash. An average four-hour cloud seating could cost her around five grand. Cheaper than a designer gown, though. But if the sky is clear, no matter how much money she has, she can't make it rain. To begin with, cloud seating needs, well, clouds. So it's kind of like adding seasoning to a salad. It only works if there's something in the bowl. Seems all sci-fi, but cloud seeding has been around since the 40s. Yep, longer than avocado toast. After all, sometimes we need extra rain for farms, rivers, and Justin Timberlake's music videos. Since cloud seeding messes with all natural ingredients, people keep saying, don't worry, it's harmless. But is it really? What about what happens in Dubai? Did they go too far? Experts say no, cloud seeding can make it rain, but it's not going to cause a flood of epic proportions. In fact, we can't even say for sure how effective this whole process is. So I guess we'll just have to wait for the next soggy episodes. <laughs>